afternoon, Helsinki. I am uh, Olivier Madiba, founder of Kiro Games, the first studio in uh, Cameroon. So we are. Um, wait. Oops. Oops. Problem of next. Okay. The direct. <laughs> Kiro comes from the expression. It's okay. Kiro comes from the expression Kiro Maono in Swahili, which means spiritual vision. We are a team of 20 crazy, ambitious guys, and uh, we released Orion, the first African fantasy games on PC that you can see on Steam. In three years, we are now one of the reference of the African gaming industry, like you can see even in the Wall Street Journal. But the question is, where are these guys coming from? What is our story? Well. Ten years ago, we started in a very difficult environment without school and with people who don't encourage you to try something new, to learn how to create games by using graphics from other games and focus on coding and writing. Ten years later, when we decided we are strong enough to make a professional studio, no investment firms trusted us. After all, we were just rookies who have no professional experience. And we decided to create our own fundraising process. We invented an um, equity crowdfunding process ourselves. And we opened our studio. And for the previous two years, we have released our first games with 1,600 hours without electricity. And we get interna international recognition for the quality. Just to give you an idea, uh, our first game is already studied at Hollywood to become a movie because the story is that height. So this made us professional wall breakers since 30 years. We smashed the wall of the um, studies of our environment. We smashed the wall for the funding. And the most pride part, we smashed the exotic wall by bringing African fantasy on the gaming radar now. So what's next for Kiro Games? We want our next move to be a part of the next thing in the business era. After the disruption fashion, everyone wants to disrupt something now. But what is the next step? Keep this question in mind and let me explain you what Kiro wants to do to find one answer. For the next three years, we want to build a community of 18 million users in 12 countries in Africa because there is an opportunity. There is a super fast growing smartphone market. And do you remember how people are when they have their smartphone for the first time? That's where we want to be. But 18 million is a big number. It's like a forest. Forest takes time to grow. So you have to know the soil. Let me explain you the soil of the African smartphone market. 60% of the people who have a smartphone are under 13 in Africa. But something interesting is that you have more than, uh, you must have more than 30 to have buying power. And you buy only what you love and what you need in Africa. We don't buy what we desire. That's the main difference between Western and African world. So the bet of Kiro game is let's build a real love relationship between Kiro and the young African today of between 20 and 29. And in 10 years, when they will all have more than 30 and being productive, we will be like a family brand. That's what Pokemon, Coca-Cola, Apple did. Why do we fall in love of a brand? If it makes us feel better. So we will make them feel better. Young Africans are surrounded by negativity. If we leave that be, in 10 years we'll have, you know, this guy at the top right, not productive. And we'll not have this profitable community we want. So, more than just creating games, we must create games and services that will inspire and support them for their own path. So in 10 years we have what we want. Remember our story, we know how to achieve great things in a negative environment and with no one giving you a chance. We can show them. So we want to share our world breakers mindset and values for those who, are, who will use our games and services. To build with them a community where the inspiration, motivation, and access to opportunity will be at the center of all our works. Why is it so important how we will do that? 
Sharing your values depends on your ability to launch a culture. This is some brands you can see that when everyone was focused on launch a product, etc., they launch a culture. And to show you what's, why the product is not maybe so important, you have Starbucks. They are just making coffee, man. But they got us all. We have this feeling that when we drink a Starbucks coffee, something I don't know will happen. So, to connect the points so far, we want to share and spreading a world breaker values that will inspire, motivate the young African today. And during their grown up, a loving bond will, have, will appear between them and us. And when they will be productive, they will consume our product with their relatives. This will create a disruptive, positive um, cycle in our community. So, so far, every one of you, I think, I've seen the vision in the sky. Let's go in the ground, see concretely how it's happened. Let me introduce you to the Tuli family, a family where everyone is already using a Kiro Games product. You have the father watching a mindset change video, a young playing Orion, our first game on his PC, and uh, learning about leadership. But my favorite part is the mother. The mother is buying some bonus on the favorite game of her daughter to reward them to making her homework. If we are good, we will make very addictive games. But we want parents to use that addiction to make their kids do something constructive. That's the kind of idea we only have because we have this sharing mindset idea. So, Something was bothering in the previous slide. Everyone was on his side. Let them have a common experience to what we call an apero kiro. It's like a cocktail where they can meet other users and exchange. And they can talk to developers too. But more than that, they can also have activities like a little TEDx between parents and other world breakers in the community. And the kids, we have a lot of goodies for more mentoring purpose. For example, we have already started to distribute in Cameroon a little booklet making of to help children to understand why what they learn at school is means to create a video games. How we use our mathematics, historic geography um, studies to make our games to fill this empty slot or why I am I learning this? So at the end of this uh, Kiro experience, all the family is happy and they have the game and this outside real world experience that we want to build. And they are motivated and inspired. So to make this possible, you see that it's not only about creating games. We already shown with our first game that we know how to create a good games. We want to create a complete ecosystem around our brands, but we are not crazy. Kiro games will only focus on the brown axis games and anime, but we will make a lot of partnerships all across Africa and in the world. When I showed it to my mentors, they were like, no one can do this, it's too much, you know, you are still too young, you have to wait like 40 more years, etc. Never tell impossible to a world breaker. So, we decided to show that we know how to do this since September. We have done everything in the axis that you see in the previous, you saw in the previous slide, ourselves and with some partners in Cameroon. We are now creating the first distribution channel in Cameroon starting from nothing. It's have never been done before in PC while doing all the rest. There is like a Kiro way of doing things, the same thing that make us make a game with the rookie team, home engine, and without electricity. We know how to train, recruit, and organize people for that. And we think we are the only one who can make it. World Breaker's vision is designed by us for us. There is maybe a better idea, a better vision, but this one is designed for us. So, concretely, we want to make in the next three years three big mobile brand games, like three big Clash of Clans like in Africa. And we will have a communication with proximity for our target. That's why we need base for community management on every country in Africa. But the base will mainly manage partnership in the country to create goodies and events, for example, and scale up the PC uh, sales game um, of our first game. And uh, in time, we want first to scale up our actual studio 
then going into the Francophone Africa where everyone already loves us, using this bus to go into big markets like Nigeria, South Africa, and then going to East Africa where there is a lot of market too. This vision has a big cost, like you can see. Uh, with our little simulation, we think that it can ask a lot of money where 75% will go on the advertising and creating and managing this um, community. But for the first one and two, where we, are, we already know what we will do. We need like six million to launch the project in the four African country. And this can give us 65 million USD if we monetize correctly the target and the user with mobile money. There is a huge mobile money opening market now in Africa, and if you follow it, people don't have visa, but they have um, mobile money. And very important, we will not make micro transactions, we will make nano transactions. That's what can work in Africa, nano transaction and registration. The cash flow seems to be very positive, and to be realistic, um, remember Facebook, Twitter, we are in tech. To build this kind of community, we will spend and lose a lot of money, I'm sure. Even if mathematics say that we will be um, break-even, let's say that we prefer to say that the main objective is to get the community and mainly get the reality of African market. No one knows what can happen in the African market. It's a new market where you have to discover the rule on the ground. So that's why more than money, we want mentorship, because that's just what we see. Someone can uh, show us more. And we want partnership with investment funds who can help us to raise the funds and see more. So I will finish with this answer. We really think at Kiro Games that the future belongs to company and brands that will put inspiration at the center because we are in the world where everyone has access to information. Education is no longer about telling people what to think, but telling them how to think. And inspiration is not about giving positive thinking to people like believe in your dreams, this kind of stuff, no. It's about reality. Life is hard, it's mean to be hard. But if you work on yourself hard and if you are world breakers, you can make it. Thank you.